you just have been a panel for cast, but they've outlined and not outlined, but they ended up kind of leaving each other to fight because they uh, <laughs> can't, they're not going to communicate each other. They probably wired, wired so differently. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Sanford, if I could direct the next question towards you, that's all right. Um, I, I mentioned the first Prey novel. Uh, it's still on my shelf. In, on the, I have a shelf that's called, uh, it's, it's, it's how it's done shelf. I've got Jurassic Park there that I use for now, but also your, your novels there. I just think the piecing is so incredible. I was thrilled to find out that you're actually on this panel. Because that, to me, uh, you have a perfect rhythm. You have a rhythm being a part of piecing. And I think the way you were able to, to ratchet tension, I mean, you know, tension goes hand in hand with pacing. And the way you do that is just so brilliant. Now, you didn't raise your hand when it came to outlining. So I'm assuming then that there's a more of a natural process on how you can you discuss how you build pacing into the novel? Uh, I, I don't outline. Uh, I mean, I've talked to writers who have done this every possible way: outline, partial outlines, outline the last ten pages, which I sometimes do just because I want to get the sequence right. Uh, but most of the time, I don't outline at all. But I, I keep in mind a few rules. Uh, when I was back trying to learn how to write. I was working as a newspaper reporter, and I could write well in newspaper terms, but I, I didn't know how to write novels, and so I, I was going through a lot of things that, that, that people do when they try to learn how to write novels. Uh, I read a lot of books on novel writing, and they're all universally useless, actually, uh, except for one hint from Lawrence Block, uh, from Lawrence Block, who would say, he said, essentially, throw away the first chapter. Because the first chapter for most people, when they're starting to learn how to write books, is it was a dark and stormy night, and Fred Smith was six feet tall and weighed 230 pounds and worked for the police department for 20 years. They took all this background. And, and like Justin, you've got to grab the people, drag them into the book. And so the first, the way I start pacing is, is I want the first paragraph to be rolling. So I have a, a system, which I'm not going to call, uh, you know, it's not a formula, but it's something I do. I want a crime underway when I start the book, because if the crime is underway when you start the book, you're, you're, you're dragging them in. I mean, you know, if, if a murder is about to take place, why would they stop reading in the second paragraph? And if they actually turn the page, you probably got it. It's my view. Um, so that's how I begin, I begin the pacing like that. And then I'm never embarrassed uh, to say, I don't say this, but I say something if I can meet while back at the ranch. Because it keeps you from writing long bridges to explain where everybody's at when you're doing stuff. You don't do that, you just cut. One of my favorite cuts of all time is in a Batman movie, in which uh, Batman, it's like the Dark Knight, well, maybe it's a sequence of Dark Knight, when Batman goes to uh, Hong Kong. So he starts out, we see him in New York, and he says, you know, I gotta do something about this cut. He's standing on top of a building in Hong Kong. How did he get that uniform from Chinese customs? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, where that uniform? How did he get to the top of that building? I mean, the, the thing is, and, 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 and movie people who have something to teach the novels, they don't worry about it. They simply cut to the scene where it starts. He did it somehow. And, and to keep my pacing going, I'm willing to make those kinds of cuts on occasion. 